because I want to save up a certain amount of money going to let me hit a milestone in my savings account and so I've decided not to spend any money until I get to that amount and then once I get to that amount I won't spend any money that will put me below that amount if that makes sense. I know the sound in here is really bad and I apologize for that but I am just making this video before I go to work and I don't have a lot of time, so I just have to kind of work with what I have. Ooh, just gonna have to work with that as well. As you guys saw, I made a coffee at home. I usually buy a coffee out because I love the coffee in Australia, but I've decided to go full force and not spend any money on anything that's not absolutely necessary, which includes coffee. A lot of the money that I spend is spent on like little things like coffee or eating out. So I'm going to try to not do that at all. Literally spending no money. My car is full of gas. My fridge is full of food. I have everything that I need. I should be able to go for at least a week before I need to buy groceries. And then other than that, there's nothing that I really need to buy. So, Woohoo! So I do need to still get ready for work though. I just need to get dressed. Okay, I'm dressed. So the reason I've decided to do this spending freeze is because I, Michael and I have been working on some home improvements, which is really nice because our house is becoming much more like our place instead of like we moved in here when it was fully furnished and it was, it was just like not, it didn't really feel like our house. It felt like we were just living in someone else's house. So this is why we have been doing a lot of home improvements and kind of making it more ours, which I really, really love, but it is not cheap to do this stuff. And this is why I've been spending a little bit more money than usual, which is why I decided to spend it, which is why I decided to do this like spending freeze. I actually used to do spending freezes all the time when I was saving up money to travel full time. And they are so helpful. It's actually the easiest way to save money. Just go on a spending freeze. It is a bit extreme, but I tend to go onto the extreme side of things sometimes. Oh my God, I have like four minutes to finish this coffee. I do have to make my juice. Okay, so to do my no spend week, I first of all, obviously I have to have coffee at home. Um, the next thing I have to do is have breakfast at home. I mean, make breakfast at least. This is my kitchen. It has the worst lighting out of any room in the house, but I am going to try to make my coffee every single day. Exhibit A, it's like all over the counter. I drink like a juice slush smoothie thing every single day in the morning. I also made lunch while Michael made me doll last night. He is an angel. I have some doll and some rice in my little container to bring for lunch, which is perfect. I have a very short time period to make my smoothie. Got my Nutribullet. So in my juice, I always go with frozen mango. I never measure it. Banana. I have a whole bunch more, but. <sighs> I'm scared I'm gonna be late for work. I wake up so early and then I just procrastinate on actually getting ready. Ground flaxseed and just eyeball that one. I use some greens powder. This one, this is the big container, really stocked up. I use Inulin as well. Inulin is very good for your digestive system. It has prebiotic fiber in it. Wow, I just spilled that all over the counter. For my liquid, or juice. So messy. The blade, like shake it up a bit. Okay, juice is ready. If I don't drink it right away, I'll just bring it to work and then I'll finish my coffee usually before I drink this. It always works out to be the perfect amount. I don't really spend a lot of money during the week, more of the weekends because I've been spending my weekends going to the shops and like sorting out what I what I need to get for our house. So basically I'll just need to 
cut that out, but I think that my plan of action is going to be to have something else to do. Now I really have to go. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late. I have to go to work and I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello, I just got home from work and it's still Monday and I have had a really difficult day. Ugh, life as a travel agent, you know, like during the class especially. One certain client that I've taken over from someone else's booking, they this client has just become really next level with the harassment. And so today it was escalated and it was just a difficult day. So I'm gonna make dinner and I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna get ready for another day. <laughs> Bye for today. Oh. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. It's day two, Tuesday. So I got these on the weekend charcoal insoles. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. My shoes are falling apart, so I'm gonna try to make them last a bit longer by using these insoles. I just filmed a video on my work wardrobe. Link that up here, you guys can check that out if you want to watch that after this. I'm a size eight, so I need to cut it to the H. I don't even know if I'm cutting on the right line anymore. Oh, it fits. <laughs> It works. I'm so excited about this. Oh, it's so nice and soft. Got my jacket. I have this, this water bottle. It says Sabre on it. That's our airfare program as a travel agent. Travel agents will get it. So I actually use this for work and I just fill it with good old Bond Soy, the best soy milk in Australia. Put some milk in here and I use this for teas at work. So. After I get to work, I like to have a caffeinated beverage because my work is very draining right now and um, I'll usually make like a chai tea. I just bring a box of, of tea bags. So I have like a whole, a whole bunch of tea bags and then I just fill up, use this milk with that. It kind of looks like a little baby's bottle though, doesn't it? I think it totally does, which is kind of, actually it kind of grosses me out now. Okay. I have to leave in three minutes. Container. Flaxseed. Greens. Emulin. Spoon. That was like something a bit more liquid. Shake it. Okay, this is a much better color. There we go. Yum. Okay. Time to go. Bye for now. Hello. I just got home from work. It's dark outside because it's like 5.30. When I got home, someone in my apartment complex is making either garlic bread or some kind of garlicky bread-like thing. At first I thought of garlic naan and then it made me want Indian food so bad. And I know I just had like dal for three days in a row, but I am craving garlic naan right now. And obviously I do not have any garlic naan or any kind of garlic bread. I don't think I've ever made garlic bread from scratch and that's something that I never crave. I would probably usually try to convince Michael to get Indian food tonight, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be strong and I'm going to make something at home. And I had the rest of my doll for lunch today and it was great and I made it gnocchi last night and I'm going to take the rest of my gnocchi from last night for lunch tomorrow because I always want to make sure that I have, oh, my nose looks really red. I always want to make sure that I have something for lunch for the next day that's like homemade and already made. So I'm not going to eat that tonight. But now I don't know what I'm going to have tonight and I have to wait for Michael to come home. Kind of hope he'll cook me something. Today's day three, Wednesday. See, I have all these little bits that stick out. And that is still baby hairs that are growing back from my surgery, which was over a year ago. So I did some calculations yesterday and I am expected to hit my savings goals in two weeks if I do not spend any money. So this is very exciting because usually it would take me about, I have enough coffee today. It would normally take me four weeks to save the same amount of money that I'm going to save in two weeks because I'm not spending money. I still have to use my converter for my hair straightener. I didn't even turn it on. Wednesdays are a bit hard because it's the middle of the week and I feel like <laughs> it's a struggle. It's really 
little baby hair. So last night I ended up making nothing garlicky for dinner. <laughs> Michael had to work late, so I ended up making, I just made like a little burrito bowl. And so I have that leftover to take for lunch. So much food to bring for lunch. I don't really meal prep. I hate like how time consuming it is to meal prep. And I also hate eating the same thing every day. Like I just, I cannot do that. And I just get tired of things really quickly. So I always just try to make enough from dinner to have food for lunch the next day or the next two days. That's my version of like minimalist meal prepping. <laughs> Tomorrow, is payday. I get paid every Friday technically, but my paycheck actually comes in my bank account on Thursday nights. This week I'll get paid and I'll get all that money into my bank account and then it will be so nice to see that money and that account balance not move. Like it's just so rare that your account balance like doesn't move. So that's gonna be really exciting. Like usually on Wednesdays is the day when I crave an extra coffee, especially because I stayed up a bit late last night. I'll probably just drink like 50 cups of chai tea so I can get really caffeinated and hopefully get through the day really quickly. This sounds so terrible, but it's just, I don't know, like I don't mind my job, but I just feel like it's very tedious lately. Okay, bye for now. Hello, it's nighttime and it's Wednesday still. And today was um, a difficult day at work. I decided to have some leftovers. This is the doll that Michael made the other day. Today at work, I had to park in a four hour parking zone because all the regular spots were taken and I forgot to move my car. And then like an hour after I was meant to move my car, I realized that I was supposed to move my car. And I went to go move my car and I thought I was gonna have a ticket, but I didn't. So that would just be like a terrible, end to this no spending money yeah i'm just gonna go eat my doll and live my life <laughs> i'll see you tomorrow it's thursday payday and i'm so excited that i'm gonna celebrate by not getting dressed until the very last minute i'm running low on the coffee so i'm gonna make a another batch while we're here so i make this is cold brew and I just make it at home. It's very easy, like literally could not be any easier. The only thing is you have to leave it for 12 hours for it to like soak and like brew coldly. God, <laughs> actually make it in this pitcher and then I pour it into this pitcher so that I can have some brewing while I have some already made. What a genius. While I do this, I want to talk about how I manage my money. I don't know how I haven't talked about this by now. So basically, I follow the Barefoot Investor plan. Great, I love it, it's all automated. I really don't have to do anything to save money. I have a long bank account. So I have four ING accounts, which I use for, one is for like bills. So like my car registration, gas, phone bills. I have one account for everyday spending. So I give myself a budget of like $80 a week, which I will spend on coffee or eating out or catching up with friends, like going out to dinner or something. Michael thinks that is way too much, but I actually end up spending it really easily. I, I'll buy like a book or some plants or something like that a lot of the times, which is kind of why I wanted to do this no spend week. And then I have my smile account, which is more like a savings account for like holidays and stuff. And then I have another one that's for like long-term savings. So it's also used for anything, like if I have any big unexpected bills, like my car breaks down or something like that. And then Michael and I also have a joint account. Put a certain amount in there. We put the same, we both put the same amount in there and we use that for like groceries and our rent. And whenever we eat out, like get takeaway together or something like that. Anything we do together, we use that account for. So I still have my automated account set up. But with my no spend week, I'm just leaving everything in the accounts, not touching it. And then once I get paid, I'm going to put that into my savings account. Let's make some coffee. This is a really good one today. Wow. I think I put extra, extra maple syrup in there. As usual, I got it all over the counter again. This is my life. Measuring cup. I'm going to do the maximum amount. Two cups of coffee. 
dump it in there. I do try to always get organic coffee because coffee can have a lot of pesticides in it and that grosses me out. Twice the amount of water than coffee. So I put two cups of coffee and four cups of water. I just stir this up with a regular spoon. How the heck did I get that all over my sweatshirt? Let that sit here. You can let it brew for 12 to 24 hours. I think you can even let, leave it for longer than 24 hours. But I think I'm just gonna make some Vegemite toast. I think I feel like eating something today. I always get this toast pretty good. Nutalex. Oh, look at that. Mmm. My battery is drying. I just got home and I'm wearing a different sweatshirt, a warm fuzzy one because it's cold and it's payday and I just got paid into my bank account. Okay, I'm gonna make sweet potato fries for dinner. I love having sweet potato fries because they're so good and they're so easy. I remember that when I went to the store, I got a couple of these to try. So I've never had these before, but they're really perfect for taking for lunch for work. So I don't have to make anything that I can bring for lunch because I have that. Oh, yeah. It's Friday. Right. I'm making my video. Oh, sorry. Do you want to reveal it? No. And it was so hard to get up this morning. I am so tired. And I have a friend coming over. We're allowed to have people come over to our houses now. We actually have been for a while, but I haven't had anyone come over because I've been really paranoid. I feel like I need so much more caffeine today than usual, and I have so much less coffee. Happy Friday. <laughs>in the kitchen. So yesterday I just had a really chill day. I didn't do very much at all. I didn't even leave my house yesterday to go outside. <laughs> Today I am also just gonna have a really chill day. It's been freezing in Sydney like next level cold. It's really windy today and yesterday it was like raining on and off and it's just like not really weather that would make you want to go outside anyway so I guess it's pretty good for the spending freeze because I don't even want to leave my house for any reason. The one thing I do really really miss about spending money is coffee. I really really love barista made coffee. I love going to the coffee shop and they all know me and we have a good chat and like they'll always make the best coffee and I really really miss that because I've only had cold iced coffees lately which are very good. When it's cold outside you really want something warm and I think that's been the most difficult part. I'm gonna make a hot coffee with a French press today which will be really nice. Regarding my no spend week, I have transferred all of my money that I'm meant to be saving into my savings account So I actually like literally cannot spend it. You want to be in the video? 
This week I have saved, because I haven't spent any money, I've saved a total of $326. Very productive and worked out really well. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, please give this a thumbs up and keep an eye out for the second part of this video, which will be coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.